It's got a soul, this hero farm. One of the things that, you know, obviously you and I know, but everybody else doesn't, is you and I text pretty regularly about one very specific topic. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and and now I think maybe to close out this interview, I want to I wanna actually get into that one. Um so oftentimes we're talking about, hey, what's your story? Like, how do you explain what you're doing and, and, and really highlight for people what you're all about? And I know that that's something you've struggled with in the past. So, Rose, right here, right now, I'm going to put you right, right on the spot and say, what's your story? You're mean. <laughs> um, you know I have a hard time answering this. I... In a big way, I don't know my story. I think, a, I think I'm, in some ways, it's my insecurity of myself that makes me afraid to say what my story is, because I feel like my story is evolving still. Um, especially because I've been hit with the health blows, I think it changed where my story was headed, and and it's it's confused me a little bit. But I think. All along, I've wanted to help people. I've wanted to make the world a better place, and I've wanted to educate people about homesteading. I want to encourage people to homestead. I want to inspire people to be self-sufficient and not rely on the grocery store for your food. Uh, there's, there's so many bad things inside those doors. I mean, just when I had... To, when I first got diagnosed, I had to go through an autoimmune protocol diet where I could not eat anything. I mean, there were so few things on the list of things I could eat. It was nerve-wracking to go into a grocery store. Just looking for a box of crackers was torture because it wasn't just gluten-free that I had to do. I couldn't have any nightshades. So I'd go and I'd look, and there would be potato starch in every gluten-free product uh, or I wasn't allowed to have corn at that time. And there was corn as a substitute for the gluten, you know, so th there was, and soy. And so the, the potatoes, the corn, the soy, the gluten, all of these things that I had to completely avoid while I was letting my body detox to find out what foods were trigger. Um, the grocery store cannot <laughs> feed you and I, I realized that it was it was you know even more important that my garden became my focus again and I've been gardening my whole life and I've been a professional horticulturist for 20 years I've been a master gardener for 15 it's not like gardening was new to me it was just it had become so hard because my health was failing that gardening could not I couldn't do it. I just, I didn't have the physical energy. I didn't have the mental energy. There was just nothing left in me to push myself out the door to go garden. And I feel like that's back. I feel like the Rose that was always pushing herself to do more and be more is back. And so my story is, is, is growing with that journey. So whether your physical handicaps or your health handicaps or your mental handicaps, Whatever they might be, getting out in the getting out in the garden is such good therapy for all of those things. It is a stress relief. It is a good exercise for your body and mind. And it's got so many health benefits when you begin harvesting those vegetables that you grew. And all of those benefits make all of it worthwhile. So I really do want to inspire people and push people to just push past your boundaries, push past what's held you back, whatever it might be, you can overcome it. If it, uh, and another big one is finances. I mean, so many people struggle with financial abilities and, and they say, I can't afford to homestead. I'll tell you right now, this homestead runs on the smallest budget. Any other homesteader I know does. And it's no joke. My husband works for a greenhouse. He doesn't do anything fancy. You know, he does what he loves and he's happy because of it. To me, that's more important than having a high income job. As we start producing more and more stuff on our own homestead, that money doesn't seem as important because 
We're saving money. We're growing our own food. We'd never buy eggs. We never buy milk. You know, these are things that cost a lot of money in the grocery store if you're buying the organic pasture raised, you know, and we're able to produce it ourselves. And we know we can and we know that other people can. And that's something that we really want to inspire people to do is to believe in yourself that you can do it, even if you're in an apartment growing a tiny little herb plant on your windowsill. You're doing something to benefit your health, your environment, and becoming more self-sustainable.